few months ago, I fell in love with this fabric that Odessa Denby used to make her cropped hoodie. I knew I wanted to make something with it, but what? Then I started hearing about the pattern for this gorgeous, puffy-sleeved blouse from Friday Pattern Company, and then I learned there was a way to turn it into a cottagecore dress, and an idea was born. I meant to get footage of cutting out the fabric, but my camera had other ideas. Very funny. Instead, here is a speed run of me converting my desk from the place where I write and work to the place where I sew things. I live in a relatively small house, and there just isn't space for a sewing room. Just like in my last video, I'm sewing a knit fabric, so I'm using my walking foot again, and mostly zigzag stitches that will stretch when the fabric stretches. The first step in putting together the Adrian blouse, or dress, is to sew the collar pieces to the neckline, and then to sew the side seams together. Because I'm making the dress version, the bodice pieces are much shorter than they would be if I were making the blouse. This way the bodice goes about to my natural waist, and that's where the skirt pieces will be attached. And watching the Adrian dress video to get an idea of how to cut out your skirt panels. I also decided to add side seam pockets and there are a ton of videos out there on how to do that too. After assembling the bodice but before adding the sleeves, I sewed my pocket pieces onto the sides of each skirt panel just a couple of inches below where the waist seam will go. Here I'm sewing along the side seams including around the pocket pieces to attach the skirt panels together. Next, I sewed a long, loose stitch along the top edge of the skirt so that I could gather it before sewing it to the bodice. After that, I pinned the bottom of the bodice to the top of the skirt, right sides together, and sewed all the way around to attach them. Here I'm sewing the casings for the top of each sleeve. A short piece of half inch elastic goes inside each one, which gives it a gathered look. Secure the end of each piece of elastic with a basting stitch to make sure it stays in place.
After finishing the sleeve tops, sew the sleeve seams together and attach the sleeves to the bodice. The sleeves are symmetrical, so there's almost no way to mess this up. The last step on the sleeves is to sew casings at the bottom end and then insert half inch elastic before closing up the casings. I used a much smaller length of elastic in these cuffs than the pattern recommends because I wanted the sleeves to stay up near my elbows when I want to push them up. Finally, I sewed the hem of the dress. I wanted the skirt to be as long as possible, so I folded just a half inch of fabric to the inside and sewed it with a narrow zigzag. This isn't as stretchy as a regular zigzag stitch, but the hem is so wide that it's not likely to be stressed or stretched often.